Welcome back. Let's create some more stories. Choose different parts for your story and see how the endings change. Tap anywhere to start. Choose the story you'd like to create. Making mud pies. Can you help Zeke and Louisa make a perfect mud pie? Making mud pies. There are three choices to make for our story. First, choose where your story takes place. Tap or drag a place to add it to your story. Outside the wombat's house. Choose who is in your story. Sammy, choose what they do in your story. How much water will they add to the mud pie? Add three cups of water. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. If you want to change any parts of your story, tap the blue arrows. Tap the green play button to start reading. Making mud pies. Outside the wombat's house, Zeke and Louisa were making a perfect mud pie. They said, it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Then along came Sammy who wanted to join in the fun. Can I have a mud pie? I'll trade some stickers for one. One cup of dirt and three cups of water is what I prefer. So they added three cups of water and they started to stir. Is it the perfect mud pie? Asked Louisa. Zeke said, pick it up and let's do a test. Splat went the pie and it made a big mushy mess. That didn't work said Louisa with her spoon in the goop. That mud pie was too wet. But Sammy, would you like to have some mud soup? The end. What a creative story. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change how much water they add to the mud pie? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or Tap the arrow to create a new one. Let's create more stories. Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Tap the green play button to choose a story. Color fun! Can you help the wombats make up a new game using colors? Color fun! First, choose where your story takes place. The Everything Emporium. Choose who is in your story. Mr. E. Choose what they do in your story. What color will they say? Say blue. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. If you want to change any parts of your story, tap the blue arrows. Tap the green play button to start reading. Color fun! One day in the Everything Emporium, the Wombats make up a new game. Here's the rule. When someone says a color, we'll all act the same. Along comes Mr. E, holding a shiny new ball. Would you like to see my new toy? My ball will be fun for all. I made sure to get the color I like best. I really think blue is better than the rest. Blue is the secret color. The wombats know just what to do. They jump and yell, Kablooey! What's going on? Says Mr. E. I don't have a clue. I wonder if everyone is playing a game. When I said blue, you all yelled, Kablooey, the same. You worked it out, the wombat said with a grin. Then they all yelled, Kablooey! 
everyone wins. The end. That was a fun story to read. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change the color they say? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. Can you create a new story? Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Tap the green play button to choose a story. A place to play. The wombats have a new toy. Can you help them find a place to play? A place to play. First, choose where your story takes place. The Eat and Greet Cafe. Choose who is in your story. Zadie, choose what they do in your story. What toy will they play with? Play with the noisy thing. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. If you want to change any parts of your story, tap the blue arrows. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Eat and Greet Cafe, Duffy had lots to bake. Now it's time to decorate this delicious cake. Then along came Zadie. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. But I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Eat and Greet Cafe, said Zadie. This looks like a great place to play with toys. She played the noisy thing, which made a really loud noise. The noise was so loud. It was such a big sound. It surprised Duffy, who dropped her cake on the ground. Zadie sighed. I'm sorry about your cake. That loud noise messed up what you were trying to make. Duffy and Zadie figured out what to do. They worked together to bake something new. The end. Great story making. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change which toy they play with? Tap the blue pencil to change your story, or tap the arrow to create a new one. What other stories can you create? Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Tap the green play button to choose a story. Wake up, June June. Can you help the wombats wake up June June in time to eat ice cream? Wake up, June June. First, choose where your story takes place. The Wombat's Home. Choose who is in your story. Zeke. Choose what they do in your story. What will they do to try to wake up June June? Set an alarm clock. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, Tap the check mark. If you want to change any parts of your story, tap the blue arrows. Tap the green play button to start reading. Wake up, June June. One day at the Wombat's house, there was yummy ice cream, but June June was napping. He wouldn't wake from his dream. June June, wake up! Zeke started to shout. I just have to wake him. I can't let him miss out. Zeke looked around and under a sock. He said, Will this wake him up? As he turned on the alarm clock. The alarm was so loud that June June woke up from his sleep. He jumped really high when the alarm went beep, beep. Hooray! 
Olivia, he's awake! Now we can all eat ice cream for breakfast! Woohoo! What a treat! The end.